Hi, welcome to TFA. Today we're gonna to build a mini golf course. I've popped the dimensions of the plan down in the description below and I'm gonna make it out of uh, plywood. It's about 17 mil wide at various lengths. I've already done my cuts and measurements and now I'm just laying out the support beams for underneath and the sides and I have the large panels uh, that'll go onto the walkway and more boards for the sides. So let's get to uh, putting this together. So first off, I'm just gonna use some flathead nails, about 40 mil by two mil uh, diameter, and we're going to knock it in just to tack it really in place. Uh, you can use screws as well, but I'm just gonna go with the nails. So I've started by just putting a couple of nails in the corner and holding the boards up, and then I'll be able to put the support beams in every 600 long down the side. Okay, I've just finished tacking on the support beams, uh, which will give a good structure once the panel's down on top of it for uh, people to walk on. And I've just tacked this in with nails, but I will probably come back later and put some screws into there just to give it extra strength. Okay, I've finished tacking on both sides. Uh, it turned out okay. It's a 2400 by 1200 with support beams through there and I've uh, left a, a, a lip on each side, as you can see, and when the panel sheet goes down on top, we'll still have a little bit so the ball doesn't roll off the edge. So the main length of the putting green is 3,400 long, but my side piece has only come in 2,400, so I need to add another meter on the end. So what I've done is cut another couple of uh, meter panels and uh, an extra support in the middle. So what I'll do is join these two together with some nails and glue. That'll give me an edge to put this side in and I'll be able to nail that in on that side. And then I'll have the edge and the whole length will be 3,400 long. Then we're gonna work on the, on the uh, extension piece. Now that I've attached the one meter extension, I'm going to come down and I'm going to work on the lower putting green and on this end. Because the main part of the mini golf course is quite long at 3.4 meters, adding on an extra piece on the other side at 1.4 meters is quite big. So I've decided to make it into two sections and I'll put some coupling uh, plates on the side so I can detach this later and store it separately. It'll also help make that easier to move around. Now for the inside of the, um, of the putting green, I'm going to put some extra pieces for uh, strengthening uh, uh, beams across here and that'll allow the, the plate to sit on top of that and uh, the base. So uh, you can see it's a little bit uh, short. I had this extra piece left over and it was the right height so I will, you'll never see it once the, uh, the top panel is down. So I'll use that and I'll screw that into there and uh, nail this in here and screw that in, into there and put some glue on it. Then uh, I'll get some uh, brackets, which I'll show you later, and I'll attach those to the outside so we can just hook it on there. And I will cut the holes in, the three holes, in these two uh, pieces uh, that are joined together and into the main piece where the pipe will come through and the balls will come out each side. After putting together the lower base of the uh, putting green, uh, I've got some raised edges here. The hole will be uh, around in the center here somewhere. Uh, then it'll attach to the side. I'll knock out a couple of holes through here where the uh, three holes will match up for the different uh, pipes that are gonna go through there. I've added an extra support beam through here for the one meter plate that's gonna go on that end because that was too long. That was uh, 3.4 meters and my panel was only 2.4 so I needed a one, another one meter there. I've just uh, done some work on the on the uh, the tubes that are going to go down to the uh, to the main putting green, and they're just uh, plumber's pipe uh, with a bit of a hole, nice big hole, 50, 50 mil wide, and that will take the ball down nicely. And I'll have them at various various positions through here, uh, coming down underneath there, and they'll terminate out to a hole with about a 5 degree to 10 degree uh, drop. So the balls will come out quite quickly out onto the deck. I decided to do a dry fit of the top panel so we can see the full length of the mini golf course and that's where the holes will be cut in here and I'll leave this panel here because when this detaches it'll have an edge on it so it'll be okay. And then 
You could even use this just as a small putting green on its own if you want, or even better, the long one, uh, because that will have uh, three different holes in it and it'll be able to pop out the balls just down the bottom onto the grass or where, onto your lawn, wherever, you, wherever you've got. So I'll put a little step here at the front because this is 350 mil high. So it's a little bit of a step up and I don't want anybody to fall. So I'll just put a small step across here, which I've got plenty of wood left over. I mapped out where I wanted the holes to come out and I used a hole saw to cut the three holes into the boards, just overlapping with the top there so it should be able to slide through pretty easily. I also used some, got some of my pipe and I did a test piece instead of using the panel just to see if the hole would line up and I'd have it where I wanted it to go so it would fit some nice and snug into the hole. With the holes in place and lined up, I've put a pipe in just for a temporary one into the hole and uh, just on the made up board and let's see how she rolls. With one hole cut and a ball placed through, I've just got two more holes to cut in the ends have matched up with the pipes and we'll have our three outputs coming out onto the putting green out on this side here. I've cut the remaining two holes and after moving it around a bit I did find it quite heavy so what I've decided to do is detach the last meter and box it in on its own and then when I put it together I'll put two latches on each side and then that'll clamp it together and keep it nice and tight. And that way I don't lose my overall 3.4 meters. And I also have the option to do a 2.4 meter, which is about uh, seven feet putt. And with this one on, it's about a 10 foot putt to this hole. It's time to paint each section. And while the paint is drying, I'll, I'll make the box that's going to be the step at the end of this part, part here. Once everything's dry, I'll attach the latches on each side of the extension box, attach the latches on each side of the putting green, flip this main part onto its side and attach the three pipes into the holes, which will match up to here with some pipe clamps. And then after everything's connected, I'll lay the carpet down and glue that down on each section, keeping these sections separate so I can attach that later. And then we are ready for a round of golf. I've made a small step just to attach to the front of the mini golf course. I've painted the outside edges which looks really good. Now I'm going to paint the panels but before I do, when there's carpet going to be laid down on there and it gets wet, the water will sit underneath the carpet. So I'm just going to drill a few uh, sporadic holes, just tiny ones, just for drainage through so the carpet doesn't stay wet all the time. Once the carpet's laid over the top, you'll never see the holes and the water will get through. I'll also paint the top as well, so that it's another barrier between the rain and the and water that might sit on there, and that'll give the boards a lot longer life. I've drilled all the small drainage holes about 30 centimeters away from each other, all across the board to be able to see. I have a stamp of approval, ready to play golf. <laughs> now it's all painted up and I think it looks terrific. I'll let it dry overnight and then tomorrow I'll apply the glue and fix the marine carpet. You don't have to have marine carpet on there. If you wanted a faster putting green, you could just leave it as the plywood, but I want a slow putting green. so. I'm going to apply the marine carpet. Marine carpet is great for outdoors as well, and I also have the weep holes in there for any drainage that uh, the water might pool on it. Some of you might say, oh, I forgot to put in the final hole, but that's on purpose, because after I put the pipes in, I want to run the balls through a few tests, and then I'll see where the ball's coming out um, most of the time, and then I can position the final hole so we can, one of the holes can lead out to possible hole in one. Now everything's dry, I've cut the carpet squares, laid it in just temporarily, 
Uh, I've tested a ball on it, it rolls really well, comes out the holes really well, and now I will flip this main part onto its side, and then I'll draw the holes around on the inside, and then I'll cut them from the other side, and that'll match up exactly where it's supposed to go when I lay it down. So while it was up on its side, I had the carpet on the other side, and I just used some clamps to hold the carpet on as I lifted it up. And I drew the circles underneath there, transferred it onto the carpet, so I'll be able to cut those three circles out. Now while I've still got this up on its side, I'm going to fit the pipes that lead down onto the putting green and put some clamps on them. I will also paint the underside of here so it gives it longevity and that it doesn't uh, get affected by the weather. Uh, I'm going to paint that later because I'm trying to get this ready for an Easter project so my family and friends that are coming over on the Easter weekend, they can have a play on the course. But I will come back and paint this later. With the carpet all cut and laid down, I'll just glue it overnight and I've got the three holes in. I've cut my final hole after some tests and turns out it's right and centre, which will be a good challenge. And three holes coming up at the bottom. With the latches attached, it's secure and ready to go. While I was at the hardware store, I found a couple of coloured mats, so I decided to cut out some shapes for a water hazard and a bunker. I've added a couple of extra obstacles to the course just to make things a bit more challenging. Like, Fine. nice shot. And out she comes down, not in the bunker. Oh, just. With the kids having fun, I'm off to the 19th hole. See ya!